Uh, my name is Riley Grappentine, and I am a laboratory technician at ADHS. I work in two different sections. I work in shipping and receiving, and I work in analytical preparation services, which we call APS. In receiving, my job is to receive specimens from couriers who are dropping off from different submitters all across the state of Arizona, which are typically hospitals and other commercial laboratories. And then I organize and sort these specimens and enter them into our data entry system, which is known as LIMS, which stands for Laboratory Information Management Systems. Communication is a really important skill in the job that I do, especially in receiving. Not only are we communicating with our own internal staff, but we are also communicating externally with the different submitters and couriers who are sending samples to our agency. So it's very important to be able to be clear, professional, and polite on the phone, in person, and in writing. It's very important to be able to use time management skills. Every day you need to be able to assess your workload and know how to prioritize the tasks that you need to get done that day. And you also need to be able to know how to adjust and reprioritize that workload as things come up that might interrupt you. Literacy is a really important skill to have working in a laboratory because we have these really thick, hefty training manuals that are full of scientific vocabulary. And they're written by scientists, so they are extremely thorough and they don't leave anything out. When it comes to working in APS, what I do is media preparation. And the way that I like to describe media preparation to people who don't necessarily have a laboratory background is that it's kind of like being a chef for pathogens, which is a bacteria or a virus that can make you really, really sick. So when we make media, we're mixing a pathogen's favorite proteins and sugars together and then sterilizing them in one of our autoclaves, which is like a giant steam-powered pressure cooker. Working and receiving is a lot like working in a biological mailroom because of how connected it is to the other sections of the laboratory. So there's a lot of career opportunity and growth at ADHS. And one of the things I really like about that is that ADHS makes it very clear what the requirements are for different job positions. So if you're looking at a job position online, it will tell you what level of education you should have. It will tell you what field your degree should be in. And it will tell you the different skills that are required in order to do that specific position. And it makes it really easy to know which sorts of things you are qualified to do. So if I could give you any advice it would be to be open to new experiences and just be eager and willing to learn new things. If you find something interesting or you're curious about it, don't be afraid to reach out to others and ask questions about it. And remember to take care of yourself because you're always going to do your best when you are feeling happy and healthy.